Welcome to the Equipment Training Solutions Mobile Crane Core Examination Prep Course. This course was specifically designed to aid the candidate to successfully complete the National Commission for the Certification of Crane Operators Written Mobile Crane Core Examination. On the right hand side of the screen, you will notice a main bar menu consisting of 11 buttons. The Definitions button, the Limitations button, the Site Setup and Assembly button, the Power Lines button, the Inspections button, the Aids and Operations button, the Responsibilities button, the Signals button, the Personnel Platforms button, the Rigging button, and the Math button. Each of these buttons will direct you to the corresponding section of our program. At the bottom right hand side of the screen, you will notice a page number. This is to inform the students where this information can be found in their student guide, which was included with the program. The Definitions section. By left clicking on the Definitions button, you will be directed to the Definitions section of our program. This section is designed to clarify and assist the candidate with the correct OSHA subpart CC terminology and corresponding definitions. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left clicking on the back button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the OSHA terminology and definitions, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Limitations section. By left clicking on the Limitations button, you will be directed to the Limitations section of our program. This section is designed to give the operator examples of the limitations the crane operators face while running the crane through its functions. A crane operator must have a complete understanding of crane functions and limitations to avoid damage to property and or personnel. This section consists of explanations of limitations followed by video examples. These videos demonstrate what may happen if these limitations are not kept in mind while signaling the crane. Once you have read and understand the explanation, you may advance to the video example by simply left clicking anywhere on the page. If any time you wish to pause this demonstration, you may do so by rolling over the video. A play button will appear on the bottom left hand corner of the video. This button allows you to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to become familiar with crane limitations. If at the end of the video you wish to view it again, you may do so by clicking the play button. When you're finished with this demonstration, you may advance to the next page by simply left clicking anywhere on the page. When you have completed and have a comfortable knowledge of all the limitations and their examples, you may move on to another section by selecting another button from the menu bar. The Site Setup and Assembly button. By left clicking on the Site Setup and Assembly button, you will be directed to the Site Conditions and Setup section of our program. This section is designed to give the candidate a thorough understanding of the guidelines and responsibilities for assembling, disassembly, and proper crane setup according to OSHA and industry standards. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left clicking on the back button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the Site Setup and Assembly section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Power Lines button. By left clicking on the Power Lines button, you will be directed to the Power Lines section of our program. This section is designed to give the candidate all the information needed to safely set up and operate the crane in the vicinity of power lines in accordance with OSHA crane standards subpart CC. It is very important for a crane operator to have a complete understanding of the dangers of improper crane operation in the vicinity of energized power lines. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left clicking on the back button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the power lines section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Inspections button. By left clicking on the Inspections button, you will be directed to the Inspections section of our program. 
This section is designed to teach the candidate the requirements and frequency of crane inspection in accordance with OSHA crane standards subpart CC and applicable industry guidelines. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the inspection section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Aids and Operations button. By left-clicking on the Aids and Operations button, you will be directed to the Aids and Operations section of our program. This section is designed to give the candidate an understanding of the safety devices and operational aids currently installed on cranes today. In addition, this section will cover the operational aspects of lifting operations. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the Aids and Operations section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Responsibilities button. By left-clicking on the Responsibilities button, you will be directed to the Responsibilities section of our program. This section is designed to give the candidate an understanding of the responsibilities of the crane owner, user, site supervisor, lift director, and crane operator. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the Responsibilities section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Signals button. The signal selection is designed to give clear and concise demonstrations on the proper technique for delivering standard method hand signals and voice signals in the construction industry in accordance with the OSHA Construction Crane Standard Subpart CC. This section consists of written explanations of the standard hand signals followed by video demonstrations. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have read the information in the written section, you may move on to the video demonstrations. If at any time you wish to pause this demonstration, you may do so by rolling over the video. This will reveal a play button on the bottom left-hand side of the video. This button will allow you to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to become familiar with the demonstration. If at the end of the video you wish to view it again, you may do so by clicking the play button. When you feel you have a comfortable knowledge of the standard hand signal, you may advance to the next signal by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. The Personnel Platforms button. By left-clicking on the Personnel Platforms button, you will be directed to the Personnel Platforms section of our program. This section is designed to give the candidate all the information needed to safely set up and operate the crane when lifting personnel in accordance with OSHA Crane Standards Subpart CC. It is very important for a crane operator to have a complete understanding of the requirements when lifting personnel in a suspended personnel platform. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the Personnel Platform section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Rigging button. By left-clicking on the Rigging button, you will be directed to the Rigging section of our program. This section is designed to give the candidate all the information needed to understand the technical knowledge criteria requirements in Appendix C of OSHA Subpart CC. It is essential for successful completion of the CCO core examination that the candidate have a complete understanding of this testing criteria. 
Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the rigging section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. The Math button. By left-clicking on the Math button, you will be directed to the Math section of our program. This section is designed to aid the candidate with the basic math skills necessary to successfully complete the math problems given in the CCO's core examination. It is very important for a crane operator to have a complete understanding of the math necessary when performing load chart calculations. Once you have read and understand the information on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If at any time you want to go back to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have read and understand all of the information in the math section, you may move on to another section by selecting another button on the menu bar. Thank you for participating in the Equipment Training Solutions Mobile Crane Core Examination Prep Course.